talking about cooperation in the digital age is uh, very timely because uh, it, my region in particular, we're mostly consumers of digital products and not so much creators or producers. And what that means is a lot of times we get products that aren't in our language and uh, that when we're trying to train people we have to uh, look, at, look for people who already speak English or we have to first teach them English to be able to use these products and that means that we're cut out of the space completely. So one of the things I was hoping that would come up in this discussion is how can we localize software more and how can we get um, people from regions like that to become producers and not just consumers. My favorite example of cooperation in the digital realm is open source um, software development, but just open source technology in general. Um, uh, in Rwanda, I was part of K-Lab, which is a, uh, a space for technopreneurs and uh, students, anyone who's interested in tech to uh, come and share ideas and uh, begin creating products. And most of us used open source software because all the documentation was online and we could teach each other and we could modify it um, specifically based on the needs of our city and our um, region. Well, I was impressed actually at um, the range of ages in our, in our panel. Uh, there are some other members who are as young as me, but from very different backgrounds. Um, it's exciting because usually when people think about tech and um, um, the digital world, they either only think about young people and how it affects them or they only have older people who are making the decisions for the young people so I really like that this panel has a balance. <laughs>